So while in the process of making this video, I encountered a major issue uh, as I record my corny walking into the dorm room, uh, you know, having my tripod set up there, and then I go back and I walk through. I actually, in fact, did something really dumb. Uh, this happened just briefly before I recorded this scene, and uh, let me just say this, okay? Uh, I am an IT nerd, so I accidentally might have tripped over an acorn while I was shooting this video and did this to my phone. Now, my phone is my primary uh, device that I use to record, and this is the result of me being an idiot. Now, not, not only did I fall and, you know, crack the screen, which it still worked, but I had to go to the lengths of trying to peel off the screen protector thinking that this was the screen protector and I ended up pulling off the whole screen and I have like the backlight that has on that right there so that is the the story the highlights of this video so now I have to go get a new phone and and uh, that's just really going to be eventful here. So the topic of today's video has to do actually nothing with that, but just to just preface that, um, in fact, one of the comments I recently received on one of my videos is, hey Grant, uh, you've been able to help me find maybe some internship opportunities, maybe some, uh, some colleges that are aspects or certain things to that degree. And the next question that people are going to be asking me uh, is, I have this cybersecurity degree, so what can I do now to actually go get my entry-level experience? Now, there's a few ways you're going to be able to do this, right? So let's assume you have your degree. Let's assume you have your certification, right? And you're ready to go. You're ready to uh, either find a co-op, an internship, or an entry-level position. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually just go ahead and scan the the list. I recommend Indeed.com as a uh, the, search, the employment search engine. And what you're going to be able to do is just scan what you want, right? What do you want in an entry-level career? What do you want in a business? What, what kind of experience do you want? What kind of job, uh, tasks, things of that nature? What do you want? So you're going to scan Indeed.com. You're going to come up with a list of certain qualities or, or the job title that you want. Once you have surveyed the list, uh, like I said, I recommend Indeed.com. You're then actually going to go straight into networking. Uh, what do I mean by that? Right. So you're going to be going to events, uh, organizations, clubs, locally. It depends on where you live. Uh, start online. So start with the LinkedIn groups, Facebook uh, groups as primarily your, your two. And you're just going to start networking online, building up your LinkedIn portfolio. And then you're going to go to organizations, right? You're going to go to clubs. You're going to go to, to organizations, and you're literally going to do this. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to say, I have a cybersecurity degree. I graduated from this university, or I have an information security, computer science. I'm looking to get into the field. Do you know anyone, uh, or do you know how I could possibly job in, in this particular field? Now, you may say, well, that, okay, that's stupid, right? Why don't I just apply to a D.com, indeed, and you just do your, your little application, and you wait. And you can do that, right? You can do that first, and then you can wait, I guess. But while you're doing that, go get your name known, right? So go network with people don't be hesitant you have to learn how to communicate perfect time to communicate okay so you've surveyed indeed.com and you've got your list okay the third second thing is you got your your net your networking uh, you're gonna be able to do that for a few weeks even a few months um, these two things have not at all reaped success you're gonna be doing the third option Okay, and I really highly doubt, unless you really have screwed up your background uh, check or things of that nature, I think you'll be able to get a job. All right, this is very basic information. But the third one is one I highly stress, no matter where you're at in your career right now, and that is building your own side project. 
And so what do I mean by that? In fact, I actually uh, wrote an article a few months ago uh, regarding some side project ideas. And those project ideas um, are things that you can work towards. Another resource that I wrote uh, was the ultimate guide to starting a career in cybersecurity. In this article, uh, it's really a pillar post, breaks down kind of the percentage of where you're at ability to develop your career. And uh, I also, at the very end, offer three different side projects uh, that you really could work on right now. What this means you have a cybersecurity degree you're building your project you are networking with your community and you can even start with indeed.com i guarantee you that you will at least have success getting the interview uh, the, the interview process is a whole nother video topic uh, something that i can in introduce and and, uh, and talk about if that is something uh, anyone is interested so this video is actually just a very surface level uh, video of a post that I'm going to be creating here in the next month uh, called, talking about ultimate guide to getting an entry-level career in cybersecurity and I hope that you can find this post and I will post the link in the description after it's live hopefully you can find value in this post uh, this is kind of just an introductory video and if I can go further into the topic um, that would be great so the broken screen represents one thing and that is I'm an absolute idiot you guys enjoy your day and just remember don't fall on acorns outside or else this could happen have a good day